Hello, fabulous. Welcome to Isha Inspired. I'm Isha Casagrande, your wardrobe consultant, the closet whisperer, and hopefully your like really great friend, your girlfriend that makes you feel confident and amazing and fabulous all the time. So I love being a girl. I love playing dress up. I love putting on the girly clothes. I love doing my hair. I love doing my makeup. I love it all every day. I love it. So I love to share the tips and tricks that make me feel amazing. I am not a professional makeup artist by any means. And some of my makeup artist friends would just die if they knew that I was sharing it all, what <laughs> my routine is. But I am here to entertain you. I am here to inspire you. That is my goal. And that is what I want to do. So I had filmed a segment for you. I have a partnership with Beauty Counter and I love their products because they are all natural, totally um, clean and amazing. And I love all of their products for my skin, not just their makeup, but their skin products too. And they're really advocates for um, bettering beauty products. So their whole philosophy is getting clean products in everyone's hand. And I love that, right? Because I love me some Botox and love me some other things, but I love to control the things that I can control. And I happen to love these products. So I did a Facebook Live and it actually turned out pretty funny. And there is a bit of comedy and um, a major confessional. So I have decided that I want to share that with you instead of inventing something new, because you will learn more about me than probably you needed to know or wanted to know, but hopefully you'll get a chuckle from it all. So listen, just a few things about your skincare regimen. Everything that you put on your skin, on your body, on your face, on everything should make you feel amazing. It should be soft, hydrating. Like you should feel good when you put things on. Have you ever put on lotion that you put it on? You're like, oh, that didn't even like do anything. That felt like water. Listen, if any of your products do not feel exactly what you wanna feel like, hydrated, um, soft, um, youthful, right? all those things, listen, it's not the right product for you. There are so many great dermatologists, estheticians, cosmetologists that can help you with things. So really make sure that your products feel good. And that is what I love about Beauty Counter is everything feels like silk on my face. I really, really, really do love it. Hey, I a smell is a big thing for me. I can't have a lot of smell in my products. And if they do smell, they need to smell pleasing to me. I don't like any products that smell like food that go on my skin. So it is something that even if it's a good product that I need, I can't, I don't want to do it if it smells like chocolate or vanilla or something. So make sure that the scents make you feel good, make you feel amazing, that you take a breath if there's any scent at all to what you have. And last, if anything is burning your skin or tingling in a strange way, listen, you need to stop using that product unless you are actually working with a professional that knows about that product. You know what, for years I um, used products that I thought, oh, it's supposed to feel this way. It's supposed to have a little bit of burn. It's doing work. And guess what? It was damaging my skin. And now I paid the price. So. Those are three tips. Listen, makeup should be all about having fun, feeling confident, feeling amazing. And as you get older, things change. I am here for you. If you need help, I am just a message away. We can always set up a private consultation and I will help you and I can even do it from afar. So let's get to giggling. Here you go. You're gonna get to know me really well now. Happy Fashion Friday. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. I have no makeup on. I'm doing something different, you guys. Um, oh my gosh. And someone's calling me, stop. Um, hey, hey, happy Fashion Friday. <sighs> Welcome to my bathroom. Um, let me know when you're on. I am actually, oh God, I just, it's like weird to see myself here with no makeup on. Um, hey, Stacy. I am... Hmm, I see names. There we go. We see people popping in. Sometimes it's delayed. It's weird sometimes. Um, I'm makeup free because I am asked over and over and over and over what the makeup routine is and my whole partnership with Beauty Counter. And here's the thing, Beauty Counter right now, it's 30% off this month, your first order. So it's just a good time to do this. But I'm on having a mimosa because it's scary being without makeup and it's also, um, I can't, I'm on time. <laughs> so, so 
So it might take you guys a minute to come on. Ginger, girl, I just saw your post. I didn't know you're moving. Your view looks amazing. Oh my gosh, we're trying to buy a house. It's awful. Hi, Tamara. Hi. Yay. Okay, so you guys, um, how's it going? How's your Friday? Hi, Lonnie. How is your Friday going? I I'm not going to take a long time. I'm going to show you. Actually, hey, Kathy. I'll just send you a little package. Um, it doesn't take me long to get ready. Hey, Gina. I sent you a package, too. Um, it doesn't take me long to get ready. I'm really about like boom, boom, boom. I can shower in under a minute, get all the right parts, right? <laughs> and um, I have it perfected. I, I, For those of you that are new following me, what my life looks like when I was in Reno is I'd wake up super early in the morning. I would go on the news and do a news segment at like 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning, a fashion segment. And then I would go teach a jazzercise class. Then I would get ready and I'd wind up going to someone's closet and then I would open my store at 10 o'clock. I'd be at my store all day. And those of you, do you remember the couture closet? Because what was there always, always. I actually brought the champagne bell today. So I would be in the store all day and then I would typically have a private event at night, kind of like the pop-ups that I do now where small groups would come in. Trina. What up, girl? <gasps> That's like so exciting. Like she's one of my mimosa girls. Man, I have a lot. I have a lot of great stories I remember. Probably some I don't remember <laughs> from my girl Trina. Um, mm. So then I would have events at night. And then I typically would have somewhere for media that I had to stop on the way home. So I would leave the house at like 5, 5.30 in the morning, and I probably wouldn't get home till almost midnight. Like really, it was a crazy life. I think that's why I wanted to move to San Diego because it was the complete opposite. And now I'm like, oh, can I have a little more in the middle? So today, um, you guys always have questions about makeup, and it's really funny because I've had lots of opinions on my makeup lately too. And um, I actually am gonna talk to you about a couple different lipsticks, but I'm just gonna put on my makeup with you real quick. I'm just gonna share what I do. So if you're just tuning in, um, I do have a partnership with Beauty Counter. I love Beauty Counter because I love clean products. Here's the thing, you guys, I love Botox. I freaking love Botox. Like, I love Botox, like I love champagne and coffee and people. <laughs> so um, I, I love those things. And then there's certain things that I like to use on my skin that make me feel clean. So for me, every time I talk about anything, it's a feeling, okay? So it's always a feeling more than actually the end result. I always like the end result, but I'm like, even when I say, oh, I feel fat today, I just miss when I felt strong and in better shape, right? So for me, it's not so much the number on the scale, it's how I feel. Um, same thing here, but with products. So I do try to control the things that I can control and um, you can't control everything that you put on your skin. There's so many chemicals in these things. Well, Beauty Counter is a clean, company and hey even clean you have to like do research for yourself to see i gotta get some makeup on how are you guys doing but this is what i look like listen i'm out in the sun all the time i have a lot of age spots i'm 50 years old my mom died when she was 45 there's no women in my family i do remember my mom kind of having some of this and, and it gets really bad towards the end of summer. And they say that it's hormonal, which all my hormones check out okay. But it's just, it is what it is. It's just who I am, you guys. And I know I have a lot of color. I just live in an area where I'm outside a lot. I'm actually under an umbrella. I wear a hat a lot. I always wear sunscreen. And so, um, <clears throat> so it just is what it is. It is what it is right now, right? So it's funny, I you know, some cultures, this is awful. <laughs> And I'm with, you know, my cute Arabic boyfriend and he just looks at the sun and he turns into like a bronze to God. And um, for me, I'm just like all these different shades of whatever. So you guys talk to me. I see a bunch of you on here and I can't tell. So just say, just talk to me. Just, or anybody have a mimosas? Just answer my questions. It makes it more fun. Thanks, Kathy. All right. So here is my routine. <clears throat> just real quick. I'm going to go through this really quick. This is um, an exfoliating cleanser. This is Lyra Pro. I actually get this. I have the best esthetician in the world. She's in Reno. Julia, hi. I um, go to her 
when I go to Reno, it's like one of my first stops. I go have a facial, I go have my Botox, I go have my stuff done. But I get this from her and I love this. I love a foaming cleanser and this one makes me feel really clean. Hi, Rafiq. Energy drink for class shortly. Ooh, fun. And then this one is a beauty counter. I, you guys, I can't see. I don't have any glasses on. This is, they say it's a foaming cleanser. It's not foamy. But this one I'll use in the morning. So if I, this one is what I use to take makeup off. This one I'll use like, you know, when you wake up in the morning, if you have no makeup on and um, you get in the shower. So that, and then I will tell you, I want to share a few products that I just love. Hi, Isha. Hi, Rafik. <laughs> Hi, Elki. We need to talk, girl. I want to know what's going on with you. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kathy. All right. The best eye makeup remover I've ever used in my whole life. I was a diehard Lancome um, fan, and this is just the most amazing stuff. It feels like silk velvet, silk, whatever. And it come, it just takes everything off because I tend to have a lot of makeup on there. So even though I wash and scrub, I need that, but this is just my favorite. So instant eye makeup remover and it, it's hydrating. So it has, I don't know what it has in it. I'm not going to say what it has in it because I don't know. And then I use the toner. So the toner, hi, Rebecca, you guys say hi, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Um, I read a thing that talked about is toner really you know, does it even make a difference? Here's the thing for me, I love this toner. It's actually a instant matte toner. So you can see I'm shiny. I'm not oily. I just get shiny. It might be the Botox, <laughs> but this is, I love this because it takes all the makeup off. I like to feel clean. I like to make sure that everything's off and you know, I teach a lot of jazzercise. So sometimes, hi Rebecca, happy Friday. I have makeup on, but I also have sweat. I have everything. And so I, I, I love using this. So I use it in the morning and it's always amazing to me, no matter how much I wash my face, there's always some remnants left on. Okay. So hi, those of you coming on. Hi, Tracy. I have no makeup on. I'm just doing my thing. This is, um, a C serum. I use the one for beauty counter. So I rotate through products cause I have some things that I'm on for these age spots and, um, ah, Ugh. work. Ring the champagne bell. Cheers. Mm. So this I love and it smells good and it's happy, right? Isn't that a happy, happy bottle? So that I use, but I have other products that I use at night to kind of help with, um, the, um, the age spots. Eye cream is a must. And I love this. Just look at just teeny bit. Right. And, and I'm telling you, I live where it is. Um, you know, it's, it's humid here. And so my skin, my skin doesn't dry out. It does dry out when I go to Reno sometimes, but, um, I, I just don't really have that problem, but I like a lot of hydration because I'm not oily. So I can layer things up. This is what got me into the partnership with beauty counter. Their sunscreen is the greatest. And I don't think that I'm the greatest role model because I look like I have a lot of color, but if it wasn't for this, I would be burnt all the time. So I put this on. My dog's coming in. He's like, where are you? And here's, it's light. What I like about these products, some esthetician's going to come on here and go, that's not how you put on your lotion. I read one day, somebody was like, you have to use these fingers for your eye cream. And I'm like, you know, I don't think my eye cream cares. <laughs> I don't think my eye cream cares what fingers I use. So mm, no, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have any more mimosas. Okay, maybe I need this towel. All right. So I also use an overnight peel like once a week, twice a week. I have um, some other products that I use and I would show them to you, but they're specific for my skin. It's almost like a prescription um, because of the age spots that I have. And they're really dominant on one side. Do you see that? So here's what we're going to do is <clears throat> I'm showing you the majority of this is beauty counter makeup because it's if you're just tuning in, it's, I have a partnership with them. It's 30% off this month. So this is the skin twin. This is their, um, featherweight foundation. I used to wear tart clay. Does anybody know what that is? It is like the thickest. I was like, it, it didn't cake up. Actually, I love it. If I had to be on TV again, it's definitely something I would do because HDTV sucks. Um, but this is much lighter. Does that have sunscreen in it? I can't see you guys this morning I woke up and I was trying to read something and I was like oh my gosh 
So I'm just, I like to use my fingers. So this is lightweight and it's so soft, okay? I know it is from driving because you know what, Julia? So this is kind of a um, fun thing. I have to have a car with a sunroof, okay? I, my mom, I told you guys earlier, she passed away. I was 22. She um, was 45. So I'm five, over, well over five years older than her. <clears throat> and she used to love to go drive and at night and turn the heat on and open up the windows. And we used to chase rainbows and she loved to drive in the rain. So how fun is that? All right. So this is, um, so yeah, it is because I always have it open. I'll have my bun warmers on. I'll have the heat on, but I always have it open. So I always have sunscreen on. So, so it is why I get a lot of color on my chest too. <gasps> this is my shirt fun. God is great. I love it. It's in the shop. Okay. So they had a, and I will tell you the best, the best concealer and um, they're reworking it. So they're not using, so I'm actually just using a lighter color under here. Okay. Instead of an actual concealer. Uh, Ginger, my mom, oh, you never, you know what, Ginger, I probably met you. So she passed away when I was 22 and I joined junior league when I was 23. So, and I just gotten married. I got married after my mom passed away. And, um, so yeah, it's my, my mom, it's cool. Some of the, the, um, traditions that she, that she had, that was always kind of a fun one and chasing the rainbows. She was fun. All right. So I have a beauty counter brush. This I think is really interesting. You guys, I love these brushes. And when I was in the shower, I was like, Oh my God, I didn't wash my brushes. Yesterday I interviewed a um, professional makeup artist. She's in her sixties. She's done it for a really long time. I work with girls night live, which you should tune in Monday. Cause I'm doing a whole how to dress for your body type. Um, she, I was interviewing her. She did a little, hi, Lynette. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that, Lynette, you always make me want to cry. Lynette and I went to junior high together. We were, we hung out at the cemetery and did naughty things. Um, not, not that naughty. Like, I don't want that to sound too crazy, but we were, um, yeah, we're young. We're young and dumb. Um, all right. So I am, so she said, I go, how often do you need to wash your brushes? And she goes, you know what, really? She was depending on your product and she's a minimalist. Like the less you have, the better for waste, for what you need on your skin, everything. So really I don't have, I, I know it looked like I had a lot of products, but I don't. So my brush, she goes once a month. If your products are really clean, once a month is plenty, unless they start feeling janky and then you need to do them more. So I wash mine probably every couple of weeks. So this I'm putting on is just a matte powder. So do you see how much it took the shine away? So it's translucent, there's no color to it. Um, and it is a beauty counter one. I do like some color in a powder. I normally use Jane Iredell, but I'm kind of out of this. I need to get a new thing. So I do like that. And Jane Iredell has sunscreen in it. You can use mineral sunscreens too. I don't think there is in this. All right. So now you guys, normally this is so fast. How are we doing? Kathy, I'm not naughty. You know, what's so funny is everybody thinks that I'm naughty. I'm so, naughty. I'm so not. I was when I was a baby girl. And when I say baby girl, I mean like in my teenage years. My dad, every time my son got in trouble, when he was a teen, my dad would go. He'd listen to me and he'd be like, do you want me to remind you of what you did to me? <laughs> I'm like, no, because I probably don't remember it all. <laughs> okay, you guys, I was a party girl. I graduated high school and I was 16 years old. I could just stay here all day with you. I graduated, hey Susan, I graduated high school when I was 16 years old and I partied, okay? And I came from, I didn't even talk to you about this, I came from, you know, musician background. So there was always music going, there were always parties, it was easy to steal stuff. And um, so I graduated early and partied. And then when I was 18, when I turned 18, I was like, yeah, I'm done. I woke up one day, never ever have I touched any drugs again and um, quit drinking for 10 years. So I'm like, Meh. um, you did ginger. Mm, we're so smart. <laughs> All 
I hated school. I still hate school. I still have anxiety when I have to do presentations inside a classroom. I'll do it, but it freaks me out. And I never get nervous. I get nervous in a classroom. Okay, so you guys, I just used some, oops, this one. This is like just a bronzer. I like to give a little definition here. And I'm like, listen, it is what it is. This is how I do it, right? Okay, so let's talk about blush really quick. So I do like to put just a little bit of color on top. This one's my favorite. You can tell this is, I don't even know what colors they are. I cannot read these. This is actually, a t these are um, cream blush from um, Beauty Counter. And I used to mattify everything. And now I kind of like it when there's just a little bit of, Stealing. I didn't steal. Did I say I stole? I don't think I stole. Hold on. Did I? <sighs> Patty, you're so funny. <gasps> you guys are giving me anxiety. Look at, am I blushing? I just started blushing. So I'm like, have I, did I say I stole something? Have I stole something? I don't think I, I'm not even going to say what. <laughs> okay. So I have three colors that I like to use. You can tell the one that I use on the regular. This one is the copy of um, NARS Orgasm. These two I like, this one has a lot of pink in it. And then this is kind of more of a, uh, I like my browns. So it's more of an earthy tone that is, um, that kind of, it's just, I have to wear it at night because it is deeper. Oh, <laughs> thanks Denise. Oh yeah, Denise. See, okay. I did talk about stealing naughty stuff. You guys, I used to, I'm going to tell you this. I can't even believe I'm going to tell you this. My parents were total hippies and my mom used to make pop brownies and I was in seventh grade and I, Lynette, are you still on? Oh my gosh. Were you there? And we, I used to steal them and take them to school. I would take them to school. And when we ran cross country, we'd stop over in the bushes and eat brownies. You guys, I would never do that now. <gasps> Lynette, you do remember that. You guys, this is too funny. I t oh my gosh. Mm. All right. I, t I was busy as a young girl, but hey, my whole story is that now I'm really like, I'm not as wild as y'all think anymore. I mean, I am because I'll say anything, but I'm really actually a good girl. Mm -hmm. All right. As I sip my mimosa. All right. Eyebrows. I'm just going to do this in here because this just seems easier, right? So... Sorry, I'm moving the rug. So I learned this from my girl in, ah, uh, Danielle, yeah. See, I know. Okay, I just fill in a little bit. I don't know that I can do this here. I might have to do it over here. I am, um, my girl Donna in, um, she's in Washington. She's actually gonna do a little something, something for me. Um, she does the, um, it's not a tattoo. I don't know what you call it. But she is, as I get older, I'm like, I, my, okay, let me start over. I have not, I get my eyebrows waxed maybe once a year. And it's only because I'm having a um, facial done. And so we just have it happen. And there are some stray hairs that just need to come out. Okay, so I just go with my natural. Microblading, thank you. Thanks, you guys. I love that, I love that you know this stuff. So I use that, that's beauty counter too. And then this I love. I don't wanna sound like a commercial, I'm just sharing because it's 30% off right now. So then I put this over the top, this one, I probably need a new one. But just to finish it up, am I too close? <laughs> Wait, I should do that once I have the makeup on, okay? So now let it dry just a little bit and then I'm just gonna brush through them again. And you know what's funny is now, you know, bushy eyebrows are in and so you're like, oh, you kind of want a little hair sticking up, but that doesn't happen for me. All right, so here is my next thing that I do. And this is what I do, this not, I'm not a professional. I don't care what you guys do, I'm just giving you my tips. This is like a, it's so dirty. This is like a, um, it's a highlighter. I use liquid shadows, but I use this like a base because I feel like the liquid stays better. So when I teach Jazzercise, this is all I'll do and then I'll, I'll put on some mascara and that's about it. So like easy, right? So it gives just a little bit, a little bit of shimmer, just a little bit. And now I'm going to, oh my gosh, Lynette. 
We were so fun though. God, when you're young. Hey, Debbie. When you're young, it's so amazing. Okay, I, I just, and I'm showing you guys this here because I, I just want to show you how easy this is. Now, obviously you can use a brush with these if you want, um, but because they're mine and no one else touches them, I'm just going to do it here. And then I have kind of a breast color that I, I'm actually meeting a friend later. I'm going to go see the Van Gogh, the, the Van Gogh exhibit. Has anybody seen it? Okay, so listen, I just dump color on. I just dump color on, then I'm going to show you what I do with it. But I just want to get it in the spot. Does anybody else have like one eyebrow that holds on to color and the other one's like, yeah, no, I'm going to, no, <laughs> you don't need any color on that side. Now I'm going to take, this is the highlighter that I put on top. So, okay. Do you guys see how fast I'm going now? And I know this looks awful right now, but here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it all right here. Hopefully that looks okay. Now I'm gonna take a brush and I do like to take, I think I have to do this here. I do like to take, ooh, that just changed the color so much. A little bit, just a tiny bit of a powder, see? To just kind of fill it in. And I know it's looking heavy right now, but I'm not, it's just, it's the light. I promise it's the light. But I love wearing makeup. God, I love doing makeup. All right, so it looks like a lot right now. I'm gonna turn that back off. It's 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 not a lot. I already put the um, top on. So here's one of the things that I'm doing is I have some friends that really, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm seeing it tonight. Um, so I'm just blending a little bit. My makeup girls in Reno, if they come on, they'll be like, you don't blend enough. They always tell me that. And then what I'm gonna do I like this little trick. Donna taught me this, my girl in Washington, is just take a little bit of the bronzer. It's funny, this light, I know it looks like it's really heavy, but it's not. It's not, I promise. Oh shoot, you guys, hold on, hold on. forgot my little makeup bag. That's what happens when you have champagne and you're doing this. What are you guys up to this weekend? <laughs> okay, this is gonna make you laugh. Here's my, um, I use things to the end. I do not mess around. I do not mess around. It's so funny how much more it looks like I have on, but I don't in real life. So I'm gonna put on my mascara. I mean, my eyeliner. And you guys, you see, I don't even like, I don't know. It doesn't need to be a straight line. Huh? How you doing? Van Gogh coming. Oh, I'm so excited. So they have, um, they have yoga that you can do in it. And I'm like, let's do some jazzercise in there. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. You guys, I did take off my Invisalign today because when I started this with no makeup, I was like, oh my gosh, I felt just ridiculous. So <clears throat> I'm curling my eyelashes. I hold them for a long time. I have really good, um, oh, fun. <sighs> How fun. Fran, hey. Um, I, uh, Oh, my eyelashes are good. I don't have to have extensions. It doesn't take much for my eyelashes um, to, to do things. I, I am lucky there, but I like to really curl them. Okay, we're almost there, you guys. And honestly, I can do this. If I wasn't talking to you guys, I would do this in five minutes. Not even. Not even. Five minutes. Rafiq, are you still on? He always says that he gets ready so fast. He does not. Okay. Beauty counter mascara. I feel like somebody's outside my house right now. Sounds like they're sanding it. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Rafiq's been in Chicago he, working, so he's coming back. Tomorrow, you guys, tomorrow's National Picnic Day. 
National Picnic Day. So I'm teaching my jazzercise class and then I'm, my students are coming with me. We're gonna go to the beach and have a little brunch picnic. Um, so do you guys see that we launched shoes on the, on the site? I'll talk to you more about that next week, but we um, launched shoes and things are changing in the industry, which is so, so fabulous. Um, where companies, uh oh, companies are doing drop shipping. This is hard to do with people, with people watching. But you know what you do? A Q tip is your friend. And gone. Just like that, gone. Helping my sister paint her living room this weekend. Do you like to paint? I hate it. I hate it. I really do. My dad was a painting contractor and a musician, and so I'm always like, Dad. God, you guys, I need to buy a house. Okay. So here is what I do. Because it takes a minute for, I feel like my um, eyelashes, my, not everything grabs onto it really quick, okay? So <clears throat> I have to let it dry a little bit. You know what? Look at the difference. See, it's the light. That light's not good. So you can see there is a lot on, but I'm doing something today. So maybe for daytime, I wouldn't wear this much and I could keep blending it, right? Um, ooh, time to drink. So we launched shoes. They come direct from the manufacturer. I have not got my samples yet, which is why I really have not made a huge deal about it, but they are on the website. Um, but super great. We are able to, what's going to happen over the next couple months is we're able to bring in so much more because we don't have to have all the inventory here. So things are changing big time in the, in the world, in the little world. I didn't mean to do that because you know what I wanted to do? Here's my tip is when your eyelashes are still just a teeny bit wet, you're just going to do a quick little, uh, barely, barely, barely. Right? So it makes such a Do you see how much my eyelashes just opened up? And I'm gonna put one more layer on. And so when I go throughout the day, this makeup stays on me, but I do, um, I do repowder, and then I'll freshen up, like I'll just do a fresh line of, of um, eyeliner. I don't know why eyeliner does not wanna come out of my mouth today. And then a, a coat of mascara and I feel like it just lightens up. You're so sweet, Lonnie. All right. Now, just real quick, again, I would have already been done with this, but I'm talking with you guys. You guys look at my post earlier. I just really want you guys to feel what's going on for this retreat. I want you there. I want you there because I know what it's going to do for everybody. Okay. So this, this is what I do with lipstick. And not everybody likes my lipstick, and I don't care. I've been trying other colors. I'm going to show you a few colors, and, I, and we'll see like next week. I have a video that I did. And it wasn't easy, because you know what? Here's the thing. you got to feel confident. So if you don't feel confident in what you're wearing, don't wear I don't Who cares what anybody else thinks? Oh, let's go back to that. That's better. Okay, so I'm using... Hi, Leslie. You guys still with me? I see a lot of yawn here. So I fill in my lips completely. And what's really funny right now is if I put on my lipstick and then I put on my Invisalign, I almost have to redo it because everything will be lopsided. <laughs> okay, now this will make you guys laugh. Who remembers new skin? My mom loved new skin and... Um, Jaffra. Do you remember Jaffra? So this stuff, this is new skin. Power Lips Fluid. I have a friend that sells it. And I liked her lip stuff. And I have to tell you guys, it stayed on. I think I did. Did I do crooked? This lighting's awful for this. Oh, <laughs> you guys will be like, yeah, you sure you're good at this. I like to layer up. That's how I keep my lipstick on. But this particular stuff, this power, I think, is it power lips or power kiss? 
it um, it stays on even when I had to wear a mask. So if I had a mask on, it was no big deal. So I wear, this is persistence. And here's what I do is I put a little on and I rub it in. <laughs> My girlfriend, Renee, y'all know Renee. She's been on here for me before. She just, <laughs> she just sent me a message. It just popped up on the top of the screen and she said, oh, it's too late for mimosas. I'm kind of ready for vodka. <laughs> okay. Happy Friday. Okay. Now this color is more than neutral. And I'll tell you when this stuff dries, it does not go anywhere. And this one's called <gasps> confidence. That's why I like it. Look at how easy that was. How easy and quick and how I can just add things on. Did I ever use beauty control? No. All of a sudden I was like, is that part of beauty counter? Because they have some funny names for things. Aw, Debbie, you're so sweet. Jaffra. Oh my gosh. You know what? I feel like there was like a mint scrub or something that I remember from then. That was so, so amazing. So Listen, listen, listen. There's so many colors on this. I love that you guys just hang out with me. I mean, I could play with all these different colors and do different things. I love how easy this is. I really love these products and I love their brushes. It's really like I've never done a partnership with somebody because um, I just I just like to do my own thing. So, but it should be easy. And when you put things on your skin, you can see like, Look at, like, it didn't cover it completely, right? If I used a heavier, but, oh, what did this makeup artist say yesterday? Hold on. I don't, oh, what did she say? God, I wrote it down. I don't want to highlight the distractions. So you highlight the other things. So this is a distraction. When I have no makeup on, you really do see it. So now I've brought everything kind of up, um, which you don't want to highlight the distract. You want to remove the distractions, right? So you don't have to wear a ton of makeup. It's not like you have to cover. <gasps> Risha's on too. Oh my gosh. We have everybody from junior high. Risha. Risha and Risha. We got a good story. I'm pretty sure she was on that cross country once or twice too, eating some pot brownies with me <laughs> that I took to school. Um, Oh, sometimes I'm just like, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? So anyways, it's a reunion. I know Lynette and Risha, have you guys seen each other like in a million years? No, because Lynette lives here in San Diego. How come I'm not seeing her here? Um, anyway, um, you guys, so I wanted to kind of show you the makeup today and more because you guys had questions. I will help you. I am not a professional makeup artist, but you guys, I have been behind the camera, in front of the camera, like for 25, almost 30 years. I know what works and what doesn't, and I know different ages and skin types. And if I can't help you, I have the right people that I can refer you to because I love to keep all my peeps with my peeps. Um, but if you want some help, so I have, I'm, I'm actually meeting with some people one-on-one. -on -one. I'm having Zooms and kind of helping them just figure out, hey, let's try this. You know, because I've tried some of their products. I'll be honest, I've sent some back. I don't like their eyeliner at all, at all. Some of their colors, I don't like at all. So, and that's okay. It's okay. You don't have to just be one brand exclusive, but it is fine when you, fun when you find some um, products that just make you feel really good. Because when you do your makeup, you should feel amazing. So, that being said, free shipping today using the code Friday at Isha Inspired and 30% off at Beauty Counter. But you got to go to my website and click the link there. And that's for a brand new order. So if you've never ordered with them before, um, that's a great partnership that I have. You guys, please read my post from earlier. Sometimes I'm embarrassed to go so mushy and I went pretty mushy in it, but I am like, this retreat is kicking my ass because that's what happens is it makes me like I'm almost gutted so that I can just be totally open for what we're going to do together. So it's going to be really really, really amazing for me. I am a business owner. This stuff is not about the money. This stuff is about helping you because I know once you work with me and get to know me and you're around me, listen, we have a lifelong, um, we have a lifelong friendship and, 
and I know that you'll come to me for things. And I have some huge, exciting things coming on you guys. Yesterday, I made a call to somebody. I had a call asking for help. I wanted to pick someone's brain and it turned into, <laughs> I have two massive retreats on the East Coast this year. Who would have known? I was able to fulfill things they needed. They were able to fulfill things I needed. And you will hear more about all of that, but that's what it'll be like at this retreat. I have things to fulfill you. You have things to give to me and not even just me, but the other women there, there's only 25 spots total. I already have a bunch of them taken up. So if you want to come, let me know. There is a payment plan, so you can make four payments on it. Um, it's not super expensive. Chef Jacob, next Friday at noon, tune back in. I'll come on for Wardrobe Wednesday. But next Friday, Chef Jacob, we're going live. I'm going to be in San Diego. He's going to be in Reno in the kitchen that they are building just so we can launch this event. Um, and so we will, we will go through that. So you guys have such an amazing weekend. I just... I love you all so much. I miss you all. It's hard just being home, doing this all the time. But when I get to see your names and all your sweet messages and just thank you. Thank you for blessing me and allowing me to do what I love. And I just love you guys. So mwah! happy Friday. Oh, that's permission for you to get your mimosa or your vodka if you are Renee. You have a blessed weekend too, Debbie. I love you all. Bye guys.